In this video I'm going to show you how you can use our central monitoring software to access one of our IP cameras no matter where you are. Let's say you have a laptop and you want to view your camera when you're away from home or you want to view it when you're at home. This method allows you to view your camera no matter where you are as long as you have an internet connection for your camera at home or at the business and you have a solid internet connection on your laptop computer. So first we have our camera pulled up in Internet Explorer. We're at the IP address for our camera. This is the default IP address on most IP cameras of 192.168.1.109 from Camera World. So first we're going to log in. And you may be prompted to install a plugin if you don't already have it installed. However, for this video we don't really care about the plugin. So we're going to go up here to the right hand side under the setting tab. Then on the left hand side we can see we have network. We're going to select network. And then down at the bottom of network, we're going to have access platform. On your IP camera, this could read P2P or Easy for IP. And then we're going to click access platform. And inside of here, we see we have a P2P tab. This could also be an Easy for IP tab, depending on your camera. And we care about the P2P. So we want to go down here and make sure that we enable this. And this camera is connected to our internet router, so it has an internet connection. And then we're going to click save. So this is going to go ahead and enable the P2P status and we can click refresh and it should refresh our status here on some cameras you may have to go to another page and then back to access platform. And here we can see after enabling it and clicking save we have a status of online. If you do not have a status of online you're going to want to make sure that your IP camera is getting an internet connection as we cover in a lot of our other guides on how to get a camera on the internet. Here we can see we have our serial number listed inside of our interface and we have our QR code here. Now this serial number is what you're going to want to save when you try to add the camera to your software. So we're going to double click on our serial number, we're going to right click and we're going to click copy. Now to save this and that way we don't have to go back here and get it, we're going to click on the Windows button and then we're going to type notepad. So N-O-T-E-P-A-D and then we're going to open the notepad app. We're going to come in here, we're going to right click and click paste. So now we have our serial number saved. We have the P2P status enabled and online inside of our IP camera. So now we can close out of our IP camera interface. Again, here we have our serial number and now we want to open up the Smart PSS program. And you can certainly right click and keep this copied when you open the Smart PSS program. That way you don't have to minimize the program to get back to it. And here we can see it's already on the devices pages in Smart PSS, but to get here, if you started on the new screen, you would come down here under configuration and click devices. Now this is what allows you to add devices or remove them, and then you can even auto search your local network for devices. However, we want to click the add button because we want to add our camera using its serial number. So I'm going to click the add button. It's going to come up with a manual add here, and then the method we want to add our camera under is the SN since we have the serial number and we've enabled the P2P remote viewing method. So here we're just going to say this is our 4K camera. We're going to right click and paste our serial number from inside of our camera's interface. Keep in mind you cannot use the serial number on the box of your camera. It must be the serial number from the inside of your camera's interface. And then we're going to use the username and password that's found on the label on the box for our camera and then we're going to click the add button. If you wanted to add multiple cameras you would click the save and continue button. So we'll click the add button. It's going to add our camera with the 4K camera name, the IP domain of the serial number and then we can see it's an IP camera, IP camera and then on the right hand side after a couple of seconds you would have seen this go from an offline to an online status we've successfully connected to our camera. If you're unable to paste your serial number, then you would simply come up here to the right hand side, minimize the program, double click your serial number, right click it, and then copy it again. And then you would come in here, and again do the add serial number, and right click and paste. However, since I already have the camera added, I'm not going to add it again. You can click cancel to get out of there. So now that we've got a camera connected, we have the online status. Now we can live view this camera and do a whole lot of other things. In order to live view it though, we're going to click the plus button and we can close out of the devices tab.
Now we're going to click the live view button. This is going to let us bring up the 4K camera in our grid view here. We can just click and drag the camera in here or you can double click it to bring the stream up into whatever grid you have selected. The one that you have selected is usually highlighted in the white color. If I come over here, it will be highlighted in the white color. In order to record the camera, we would click the local record button and it's just going to record what the camera is seeing directly to our hard drive. So we would click the local record button and then once we're done recording, we would click the local record button off again. And down here at the bottom right, you can see it stopped record. And in order to open the folder where your file went, you would just click the open folder button. And here we can see we have our .dav file. Now we will need another program to manipulate this file. However, we cover that in another video. And then we have a snapshot of when the video button was taken. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use our central monitoring software to access one of our IP cameras no matter where you are. Let's say you have a internet connection for your camera at home or at the business, and you have a solid internet connection on your laptop at the IP address for our camera. This is the default IP address on most IP. Hopefully this video helped you add a single IP camera to our central monitoring software for live viewing and local recording. Thank you for watching.